Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dejran. Most people call me Des. Feel free to call me whichever if you're new to my channel. Welcome. I know I sound like sick and congested because I am super congested. It's really just my allergies. I'm not sick at all. I just had a COVID test like two, three days ago. Tested negative, so I'm good to go for my surgery. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, surgery? What's going on? But for those that do not follow me on Instagram, then you don't know that I am getting surgery on my right foot tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. This has been something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. I am going to put like a picture of my x-ray so you guys can see what exactly is wrong with my foot. So if you're looking at my x-ray, you can see that my big toe and my pinky toe have bunions and it's causing my foot to kind of go in like this inward shape, kind of almost like an arrow is what I like to call it when I have a sock on. To me, it looks like an arrow. It's ugly i hate it when i was gonna get it a couple years ago in 2018 i was still in school it just wasn't a good time and now that i'm working from home and you know corona is a thing now it's just much easier to stay home and to recover during this time so finally getting the surgery to correct it it's not only for cosmetic purposes this is actually something that causes me to be in pain every single day and also for those that don't know i really want to go to cosmetology school at the end of this year and to be able to do that i need to be on my feet 24 7 pretty much and i cannot even be on my feet for longer than like an hour and a half without my feet actually burning it's actually both of my feet that need this surgery it's just that my right one needs it much more i'm in much more pain with my right foot so i'm getting my right foot done first and i'm getting both sides of the foot done so yeah double homicide it is 10 58 p.m i'm not allowed to eat or drink anything after 12 so i'm kind of just getting like the last of my stuff together just making sure that i am ready for it tomorrow i do not play games when it comes to things like this have everything set out be ready like I already have my clothes laid out, I already have my little setup next to my bed with my medication, tissues, water, like snacks. I'm not playing any games y'all, like I'm not playing any games. I got my crutches behind me, ready to go. If they were to call me and be like, Desiree, come in right now for surgery, I'd be like, okay, I am ready. I'm hoping with the next half hour I can get all this extra stuff done and then last half hour, shower, get ready for bed and just relax and go to sleep and take some melatonin because knowing me my anxiety is going to kick in like once it hits 12 like damn i can't drink nothing i can't eat nothing like go crazy so I'm hoping that the melatonin will help me sleep before then and i'll just have a nice peaceful rest before my surgery so i will see you guys tomorrow i don't know if i'm gonna check in with y'all before or after the surgery we shall see Maybe I can record a little bit while I am there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. There we go. So as you can see, my right big toe is sticking out there a little bit. I honestly have like a mild case of bunions, especially on my left foot. Don't mind JC just making all kinds of noise right now. She does not want me to go. Yeah, so as you can see, my right foot is tore up from the floor up on the my my baby toe is sticking out it doesn't look bad like just looking at it but my x-ray you can definitely see where it's at like an angle it's very uncomfortable you know trying to fit my foot into a shoe or wearing certain shoes all day long so we're gonna get this bad boy fixed but i just wanted you guys to see the difference in both my feet this one is so much more narrow than this one in case anyone was curious what i decided to wear i have like this super stretchy like sundress on and then i have like this cropped hoodie over it because it is like in the 60s this morning it's supposed to be like 70s by the time i get out of surgery so i wanted to be comfortable so i'm not gonna put on easily and like lift up because i don't know how big the cast is gonna be and i have some moccasins on because baby comfort over everything hey guys i'm back home from the surgical center and I'm feeling okay. My foot is definitely throbbing right now because they operated on both sides of my feet. So at first, I mainly felt it on my baby toe. 
and now it's starting to creep up on my big toe i do have like some oxy and ibuprofen for the pain they said that the numbing should last between like eight to up to 24 hours but honestly y'all if this is what it feels like when it's numb i don't want to know what it's gonna feel like when it's not numb anymore i like subconsciously try to wiggle my toes and that was not fun at all let me show you guys what my cast is looking like this is a situation that we got going on they told me to elevate my foot above heart level so i have a pillow underneath it's kind of hard to see and then one of my fluffy blankets on top and i also have this ice pack that they gave me they told me to leave it on for a half hour, take it off for a half hour, so this is my off time right now. I'll probably put it back on in about 10 minutes or so. And they told me to put it like more so around my ankle because it's definitely like way too thick around my toes to put the ice pack on. Literally, as soon as they had me change into my gown and everything, they locked up all my stuff including my camera, my phone, my purse. So I wasn't able to record anything while I was there, which sucked because they didn't even start my surgery an hour after they were, or hour after I arrived, which was when they were supposed to. Not much really happened while I was there. If you are wondering what it was like, I just changed into everything. They had me wait. They put my IV in. They um, ran some fluids through my IV. And then before I actually went into the operating room, they did run some antibiotics as well. And they gave me some nice warm blankets, so they did make sure I was comfortable. But it was a pretty long wait time because my doctor was still in surgery and was also having computer issues, she said. so. And then once I was actually in the operating room, they made sure I was really comfortable. They had like a tourniquet over my leg and everything and warm blankets again and they sedated me and then knocked me out so don't really remember a whole lot but everyone was so nice made me really comfortable and overall it was not a bad experience before surgery and after surgery as well hi how are you good morning Look like a little rotisserie chicken. Hey guys, it is the day after my surgery. I wanted to talk about how I was feeling last night and my comfort level and just like about numbing and everything. So they did numb my entire foot before actually going in for the surgery and everything. And they said that it could last between 8 to 24 hours. Mine definitely lasted up until last night, maybe about like one or two in the morning what i started to feel was like in my big toe it was like a really like fast like sharp pain it wasn't consistent it would be like here and there but when i felt it i felt it like it honestly put like tears in my eyes because it was like that intense it almost felt like somebody was like trying to push like a sewing needle through my toe like from the inside of my toe like that's the best way I can describe the pain so I started to like kind of like tickle at the top of my big toe to see like if it was still numb or not and it definitely was like not numb anymore but my baby toe like I haven't really felt much pain with that only when I try to put pressure on my heel which they said that I could do but because of how thick it's wrapped right there let me lower the brightness so you guys can see but because of how thick it's wrapped right here my heel is right here and like i can feel it like my heel's right there but this is wrapped super thick right here so whenever i try to put pressure on my heel it's like i have no choice but to put pressure on the ball of my foot as well because it's so thick so it ends up kind of hurting my pinky toe. I've been trying not to put pressure on my heel even though they said that I could because it is kind of uncomfortable. There's certain circumstances like when I'm in the bathroom like washing my face or brushing my teeth like I'll prop my foot up on the toilet which I will show you guys like you know how I go about like my everyday routine while I'm recovering and everything but yeah like to prop my foot up it will be a little bit uncomfortable but it's honestly better than 
trying to balance when I am in the bathroom or like if I have to stand up. It's really the only thing that has been going on. I am icing it right now. My mom got me this really nice ice pack. It's actually meant for your shoulder. That's why it has like these straps and everything. But it works perfect because all of this is nice and cold around my ankle. So it feels really good. I'm happy. I have not taken any pain medication yet today. Um, it has been throbbing a little bit, but I did want to see how long I could go without taking anything. It's not like excruciating pain at all, like whatsoever. If I try to like subconsciously like move my toes, it will feel a little sore, but nothing where it's like, oh my god, like I need to call the doctor, like something's wrong. It was definitely kind of uncomfortable trying to get comfortable trying to sleep because I'm so used to sleeping on my side. So I did have my foot laying to the side, which was completely fine. Like it didn't hurt or anything doing that. It's just throbbing right now. I don't know if that's because I was laying on my side or just because I haven't taken anything yet. But yeah, nothing too, too crazy right now. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday. I don't even remember the last time I checked in with you guys. It's 7.38 in the morning. Yesterday, um, I felt fine for most of the day. I did go out to get ice cream. I was fine, like, while I was out, you know, I kept my foot elevated and everything. Like, I didn't get out the car or anything like that. So, if you're one of those people where, like, you just cannot keep still like me, you may or may not be fine. I was fine while I was out. I didn't really feel anything until I got home. So, when I got home... This is when I really started to feel my foot throbbing, but by that time, the pain medication did wear off and the numbing definitely completely wore off as well. Definitely throbbing a lot on my big toe, my pinky toe not so much. It really just felt like I can feel exactly where they put the screws in my big toe. I took an Oxy maybe like an hour after I came home. And that took a while to kick in. I eventually ended up taking an ibuprofen as well because it's just like nothing was helping, honestly. After a couple hours, it finally kicked in and then I got sleepy and fell asleep. So that's why I'm up this early. Now I'm going to attempt to shower. I did not get one of those shower socks that they sell at the doctor's office or they sell online. Once she told me that I could just take some plastic bags and tape it around my leg, I was like, mm. I'm sold because there just was no way I was going to be spending extra money on a sock to cover my leg when I can literally wrap it with bags and tape that hoe. So that's what I'm going to do. And of course, I will show you guys exactly how I maneuver. Maybe I'll like show you guys tomorrow when I shower just so I can actually get used to having a shower with stuff wrapped around my leg and having to sit a different way and everything. So... I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. I have my first checkup after surgery at 11.30 today. So she's going to unwrap it and see what it's looking like. Make sure that everything is good. I'm hoping that I can get some footage of that because I'm dying to see my foot. And I really want to show you guys just to give you guys a realistic idea of what your foot could look like after the surgery if you are getting the surgery or if you're just really curious to see what it looks like this wrapping is like super bulky and really uncomfortable and heavy so i'm hoping that they can adjust and wrap it a little bit differently so it's less bulky and less heavy oh let me talk about pain and stuff because i haven't had to take any oxy in like i don't know maybe like two days now i've just been taking ibuprofen and then there's some times where I don't have to take anything at all as long as I keep my foot elevated and have some kind of ice around my ankle I'm usually good or if I'm like up and like crutching around for a little bit then it'll start to throb but it won't really be anything crazy enough where it's like oh my god I need to take something right now that was really only for like the first three days I'm gonna say where the pain was just like okay we need something for this but yesterday and the day before i didn't really take a whole lot i definitely didn't take any oxy the last two days so that's a good thing i'm not addicted yay i know that is like something that people worry about being on oxy or whatever pain medication that you're on you get addicted to it but um i don't think the pain was ever that bad where i felt like i needed to take it constantly my mom took my crutches so 
That's why you don't see them right now. But this is how I get down the stairs. I did practice this before I actually got my surgery. So definitely practice before you get yours. Getting up the stairs is pretty much the same, just bringing it up instead. I'm ready. Or yes. Do you have your camera? No, it's on the stand. You want me to grab it? Yes. What do you want me to aim at? Um Ooh, I know it's crooked, but leave me alone. Um, I'm about to wash my face and brush my teeth. The toilet is like right next to the sink. So instead of trying to balance on one foot like I'm doing right now, I just prop up my heel on the toilet like so. And it makes my life much easier and it hurts my other leg much less. So yes, and if I feel like I'm starting to lose balance, I'll just lean on the sink as best as I can. What time is it? 10.55. Okay. your left leg or right leg, whatever leg that's not operated on, is gonna get real beefy and bulky because I already feel like my left leg is 10 times bigger than my right one. Oh Lord Jesus. It's a lot of hopping that goes on y'all. So if you're gonna be getting this surgery, <clears throat> be careful. Definitely have someone to help you if you do not have the best balance. Um, and it's definitely a workout. You know, your leg will definitely hurt. It will definitely be sore. So. I don't know. You ready? Yes, okay. I am ready. All right. I've been dying to see it. Taking it off is going to be a little bit of a process, but you know yeah. You could cut and add it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. Not bad today. It's better. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yesterday, I didn't have to take any, like, oxy. I just was taking the ibuprofen. Okay. And then today, I haven't had to take anything, so. Good, good, good. I'm feeling good. It really only, like, feels weird, like, if I'm up for a little bit. Okay. Like, it'll be, like, throbbing a little, mm -hmm. but it's nothing where it's like, oh, my God, I can't deal with this. All right. So, it's more tolerable. Yes, for right. sure. The first few days, not, not so, so much. much. <laughs> but now it's like, oh, and yeah. And when did you nothing. get it? Monday? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Monday morning. All right. So, this part i'm gonna go get the saw yeah <laughs> and we're gonna saw it off nice you wanna say hi to the people hi people Okay. Yeah. Are you ever scared you're gonna like cut somebody? No. Okay. <laughs> so it could be scary, especially if the patient is scared. Yeah. But it more or less just vibrates. Yeah, that's like, what I feel it. Like it would scratch you if it hit your skin, but yeah. it, it wouldn't like tear you up. Honestly, I would be more afraid that it's so hot it would burn somebody because it's yes. hot. Yeah. Does it feel better already a little bit because it's loose? Yes, because it's so heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. I didn't think it was going to be that heavy, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like my knee hurts. <laughs>
school, you guys. Yeah. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? It does look a little swollen, yeah. but don't forget, it was pretty tight in there. Yes, it was for sure. Wow. It's so weird, like, not seeing my foot look so wide. <laughs> like, it looks much more like my other foot now. This is just saline to loosen this yeah. bandage off, so I'm not... So it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah. It feels nice, actually, to have something cold on my foot. This one's a little sticky, so I'm going to... Look at that. Ew. <laughs> it looks very cool. <laughs> it looks good though. It looks very good for just having it done Monday. Yeah. Wow. Look at my toes. They're so swollen. <laughs> I know, they look like little sausages. <laughs> That's crazy. It really does, though. Yeah, it's like the ones you train with. Like, yes. this is what this is looking like. Yeah, wow. Oh my gosh. Let me see the other side. Wow. <laughs> it's so gross. I'm like sweating right now. But no more bunion. You should put your feet together so they can see the difference. Oh, I did. Just be careful. Don't hit yourself. It just feels like I can't really turn my foot. I don't know. It's weird. All right. Oh, wow. oh purple. 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 It's my favorite oh, wow. color. <laughs> so you're hoping for that detail. Right? Like, I was hoping for either purple. either purple or black. I was hoping for. Purple's prettier. Yes, for sure. You want to make your foot look pretty today. Yes, that's right. so exciting. So I'm gonna bring you into the whirlpool room. Yeah. And we're gonna get okay, you. Some so we got my feet soaking right now. She put like some antibacterial solution to clean it. My big toe is burning a little bit, but you know I got stitches and everything, so that's expected. Yeah, it feels nice. They normally do this like when you first come into like the first two appointments I had before my surgery. They had me soak my feet. So it's really nice, like just relaxing before you actually get seen and everything. Hey y'all, so I've been back home for a while now. After my appointment, I got some food and came home. So I did not record my doctor like wrapping my foot and everything. So after the last clip that you guys saw of um, me soaking my foot and everything they took some x-rays which i will put a picture so you guys can see like the before and after it's super drastic i was like wow like i've never seen my toes that straight before it was honestly like amazing it was insane and i'm really happy with the result even though my foot is super swollen right now which is obviously expected but still like having an idea of what my foot is gonna look like when it's not swollen anymore and when I can walk on it it was just like oh my god my foot is actually gonna look like a normal foot you know like it's not gonna have the bumps on the side it's not gonna be super wide like it was so I'm so excited and you guys can see like how big the difference is in the x-ray as well and she did end up putting two screws in my baby toe as well so I have a total of four screws in my foot which you guys can also see on the x-ray. When she rewrapped my foot again and put the cast on again, it was really hot, which she said is normal. Like it gets warm when it's like hardening. And um, my foot was like throbbing a little bit just because, you know, the pressure from the cast, but it wasn't anything where I was like, oh my God, like this hurts like crazy or I need to take some pain medication. I have not taken any pain medication all day long. And honestly, I haven't even iced it either, which, isn't good I'm probably going to in a little bit I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like now I got to pick out a different color for the wrap so we are rocking with purple now my favorite color one of my favorite colors and it is less bulky as well so 
I'm actually able to put my foot down if I wanted to. It's like a nice flat surface now. It's not like a ginormous like bulge up there. So it feels much better. It's much lighter. And I did tell her that it was starting to itch a little bit too, which she said was a really good sign that my sutures are healing. So overall, I'm pretty happy. I'm good. Like I'm not really in pain, which is so relieving. And it's definitely much more comfortable now. Before I end this vlog, I wanted to show you guys how I wrap my foot to get in the shower and also how I get in and out the shower with my messed up foot. So for starters, you're going to need some garbage bags and some tape. They did give me the option to buy a shower sock from them, which was $30. And I just cannot bring myself to spend $30 on a shower sock when I could spend $5 on bags and $3 on tape. You got me messed up. So first bag you want to use, you can use either two to three bags. I always use two. Two is enough. Three is stifling. I'm good with two. So when you're wrapping it around, I like to wrap it right above where the cast ends or where the wrap ends. And so I wrap it pretty tight, not so tight where it's cutting off circulation, but tight enough where I know no water is going to get into it at all. Once I start taping it, I wrap it around um, between probably three to four times usually three you want to make sure that the tape is also touching your skin that's really what's going to make sure that there's no water going in to the bag touching your foot whatsoever so when i am done taping i rip it off and then i fold a little piece so it's like a little tab sticking out so it makes it much easier to actually remove the tape and i don't need to use anything to cut the tape off or to cut the bag off you just unwrap it the same way you did wrap it and it comes off so easily super fast with no hassle at all and I also like to smooth the tape down on my skin to really make sure that it is sealed against my skin. It's not going anywhere and nothing is getting inside of it. So you're going to do the same exact thing with the second bag, probably about two inches or maybe like an inch above to secure it. And just do the same exact thing, tape it, wrap it around, create the little tab so it's easy to take off when you're done. And that's pretty much it. So I have a shower stool now to get in I sit on the edge of the tub and I hold on to the sides of the stool and then I just bring myself up with the help of my left foot that was not worked on and then I'm able to literally just swivel any way I want the chair was wet so that's why my romper is wet at the bottom but yeah I'm able to just move any way I want to get out I just sit back on the edge of the tub and lift myself up it's also really good to have your crutches nearby just in case you need the extra help and that is literally it i also have a new shower head that has a detachable shower wand which is perfect for something like this it makes your showering so much easier and go by so much faster so thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video and stay tuned for my next vlog